Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to make a start menu just like this in Scratch. So let's get started. And here you can see it has a cool animation for clicking. It also has a sound effect. It has a cool animation like left, right, levitating and also a cool background and looks. So let's get started. First of all, you need some art assets. First is background. Here you can see I have a background. Then we have the logo. It should be looking good like two colors and this will look better. Instead of many colors and different fonts, you can just use the same font and make it look better and name this logo. Then we have the button. Here you can see this should not contain any text. That would be better. And this looks really cool. This is the button. All the art assets I'm using in this video can be downloaded from the link in the description. You can just check that out. So let's get started with the code. So first of all, we'll not work with the only the sprite. We'll work with clones. And that is why we'll use only one sprite. So to do that, first of all, when the green flag clicked, hide. So we'll just hide the sprites. Then we'll make a block for creating clones. And that would be build and then put a number input, name it num or anything you want. Then label start and make another number input naming start. Run without screen refresh should be checked. Click on OK. And here you can make a variable called clone number, which will add number to our clones. And that would be really helpful. So set clone number to start first of all. Then you can just repeat build number times. So it, we can determine how many clones we want and create clone of myself and also change clone number by one and this block is made then you can just put here we have three items the background the logo and the button so we'll just put here three and start from zero then you can just put here when i start as a clone first of all it should be visible because we have we have set the sprite to be hidden so we have to put here go to front layer and show so every clone will be above the previous one so first of all we'll just make the background so if put an equal to operator if clone number is equal to one the clone number will be one when we start as you can see here according to the script the first clone will be background so switch to costume background and you have to just play the music with it so you can just make any music or you can just import any music so i have just used this track and made it slow you can use chill from the library you can go here click on loops you can just use this and i have made it slower so it sounds like this I think this is cool. You can get this also from the link in the description. And you also need a sound effect for the hovering mouse effect. I'll tell you how it works just like this. So first of all, you have to put play sound until done uh, instead of start sound. So it can loop. So you can just put your background music and then let's move on to the next clone. To so duplicate this, put it here. If clone number is equal to two, switch to costume logo. So logo will not play the music, so we can just remove it. But it will play the animation you saw in the preview. So we need a special block for that. So this block is a bit weird, but I cannot explain how this works, but this works. So first of all, this is the direction in which your clone will be pointing in. So point in direction and you can just put your direction. I will put your 90, which is right. Then we have this, the distance of animation, like how much it will hover. And then we have the speed here. Uh, the speed, you can just increase it to make it faster, decrease it to make it slower. This value cannot be changed, I think. So let's put it here. You can just copy these values and to copy this block because I cannot explain this. It's not mine. And this is all for the logo. You can duplicate this, put it here. Flow number is equal to three. So here we'll make the button. So button is a bit different. First of all, you need this animation, so don't remove it. Then you can put an if else statement. So if else, touching mouse pointer, set size to, and then you can just put a plus operator here, then a dividing operator, and then put a minus operator. And then you can put the size variable here and here. So this works like you have to put the target size. You have to put here like 120, I'll put here. So 100 to 120, that would be really good. It will just smoothly set size to 120. So that would be a type of animation and this will look great. So to set it smooth, you can just increase this value. Three will be good, I think, to make it fast and smooth both at the same time. You can just change these values as you want and duplicate this, put it in the else 100 to make it back to 100 smoothly. So this will look really good. And also you have to change the position sometimes. So like the logo is in the center. But we don't want logo and the button overlapping. So we'll just change the X and Y. So first of all, set X, go to X0, Y0 for the background. Then you can just put here, go to X0 and Y80. So my logo on Y80 looks good. So I'll just put it like that. And then go to X0 and Y negative 80 for the button. So that looks good for me. You can just change it if you want. Then you can just clean it up and let's see if it works. Here you can see 
our menu is looking good the button is working the logo is working what you can see the background is pointing in a bit different direction it is pointing in like 86 i think so you have to just put your like point in direction 90 in this you can just put in here you can see our menu is looking really good logo and the button is working the background is now fixed and now we'll make the button work so it will when we click on it it will play a sound effect too when we hover mouse over it and when we click the game will start to do that you need a sound effect which i showed you the action one you can get it from the link in the description too so then you can just put your start sound this time and choose action which i have named it action and then you can just put it here to do that we can make a different script when i start as a clone if and you can just duplicate this clue number is equal to three then you can put a forever loop if touching mouse pointer and then we'll put a start sound action we cannot put here then put a or operator then we have the not you can in the not you can just put a touching mouse pointer so it should not loop so we'll just put a not touching mouse pointer so it will play only once and wait until we move away the cursor then you can put a or mouse down so either it will just move we'll just move away or we will click on it so mouse down and touching mouse pointer will work together to detect a click and then you can just put your if mouse down so wait until you can just duplicate this not thing remove this and put instead mouse down so wait until not mouse down so this will uh, this is a click effect and then you can put your script below that so i'll just broadcast start so this broadcasting start will I'll start our game and if you have any player so let's take an example that this is your player sprite and when a green flag clicked it will forever rotate 15 degrees but if you want to fix that you can just do it like you have to just remove this when the green flag clicked and instead you have to put your when i receive start in every sprite leaving the start menu so this will work and then you can just go here and you have to delete the start menu when the game starts so to do that you can just make a simple script when i receive start make a variable called delete all clones with a question mark for the spread only click on ok make it hidden so when i receive start set delete all clones to one then set delete all clones to zero but you have to put a delay or this will not work so wait for 0.1 seconds and to make this work in the clone when i start as a clone forever if and for now put delete this clone and then you can just put a equal to operator then put this variable delete all clones is one and it will delete so this works like when i receive start so the game has started it is an indication that the game has started so set delete all clones to one so it will enable this variable or set this variable to one and the clone will detect that like this forever if delete all clones is one and it will delete the clone so this applies to all the clones it will delete all the clones in the sprite and then you can wait for a 0.1 second and delete set this to zero the clones won't reappear if you have to make any other clones after the start menu it won't be automatically deleted you have to just set this to zero after that and this will work so let's see here you can see our start sound effect is working if you can hear this then you can just click on play and here you can see our start menu has been deleted so this works really good this is a good start menu you can get the full project from the link in the description so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video